We had a beautiful weather this weekend and it's finally starting to get a little chilly and let's now go to Sean Quinn for the very latest on what we should continue to expect throughout the week. Hi Sean. Hi there. Well a quick little uh, weather lesson here. Look at this. 69 in Gaviota. 10 degrees more than Lompoc. Just kind of watching that the last couple of hours. So get a little offshore breeze right there and that's allowing us at the lower levels to kind of dry things out. A little sundowner for that stretch of the, uh, the Santa Barbara coastline. A lot of high cloudiness today so temperatures were sort of hit and miss. Those areas that did get a little peak of sunshine here and there. You got a little warmer than everybody else and that's all again because of that mid and high level cloudiness. No real threats to rain. Most of the energy that is being lifted up and allowed to really condense into raindrops was well above the San Francisco Bay Area but things are expected to change. Slight chances will remain for northern areas through Monday. Better chance by Thursday and Friday and expected impacts. We could see up to one to two inches of rain along the coastal areas and unlike the last system which was a very warm driven storm this one is expected to to bring in some colder air and as it sags south there we'll be expecting to see some lower snow levels which is really good news especially for southern california ski resorts now i'm going to step out of the way last year we had a huge blocking ridge of high pressure called an omega high translation everything ran well over the top of us and then just crashed into the middle of the country they got winter and we had just stellar weather right through much of december and january this year Things are definitely different, at least for right now. Very active areas of low pressure driving the jet stream right into most of California, which again is unlike what we saw last year. We got just the tail ends of systems and they were very dry and at times very windy and cold. That's all we saw last year. This is a lot different. We're getting the systems more lined up with Northern California, more energy heading into our area. And that's going to be our forecast at least the next several days, right through about the early part of next weekend before we start to see some real good clearing. So the next couple of days, hit and miss with the cloud cover, and then we do expect to see that rain system moving in by the middle of the week. 60s and 70s for tomorrow. S -s very slight chance that maybe a sprinkle or two will um, pop up in our northern areas over the next couple of days. Surf out there is expected to also pick up those storm systems driving a lot of wave energy and even slight chance we'll see some southern hemisphere groundswell working up uh, as well by the middle of the week. So plenty of waves out there in your high tide and low tide times at the bottom of your screen. Quick look at the forecast. Look at Santa Barbara. Very nice weather expected despite the cloud cover. So passing clouds and then increasing cloud cover by Wednesday. Thursday, it looks like now our rain chances are moving a little bit later toward the nighttime hours. And then early morning hours of Friday, the showers could last all day, possibly even lingering into very early Saturday before things clear out. So San Inez Valley, want to point out for our inland folks, look what happens by uh, the weekend as well, the, a week from today. We get that cold air moving in and some areas might be dealing with frost. So in addition to all the, uh, the rain showers expected by Thursday and Friday, you could be dealing with some very cold overnight temperatures. We'll go ahead and stop on Ventura. Look at that. Very nice weather. Still above normal, even with the increasing clouds right through Wednesday. And then those showers expected by Thursday and Friday. Our weather computers really a bullish on this next storm system. Still holding true to it, but the timing is changing ever so slowly here and there. So it might be a little bit, um, a little bit different as we head toward the early part of next week as far as timing, but another good system coming. So but we should expect we'll rain it. no matter what at some point we're, we're within definitely the week. Hoping. We're keeping right. our fingers crossed. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Sean. We'll have more news and sports right after this.